Welcome back to No Limit Drag Racing 2.0, and today we're going to be jumping into the latest update, which brings us a very exciting Ford F-150 Raptor that we can get the chance to play around with and build. So let's head over to the dealership and let's pick one up. We're going to build it, we're going to tune it, and then we're going to take it out for some driving and hopefully get some good runs in with it. So let's head straight to the dealership, and then now we're going to go into the modern category, and if we go all the way to the right-hand side, this will reveal the new F-150 Raptor. Now, you can start with it in stock form or you can go ahead and build it in strip form or outlaw form whichever way you decide to go with it and then you can go from there we're gonna buy it stock and then we're gonna build it up from there now i like this like burnt orange that looks really really good so let's go ahead and spend the 30k and then now it's time to go ahead and commence the build so first things first, we need to go ahead and get the engine upgrades out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and go all the way up to the race big block, the race heads, the race pistons. Everything is going to be through the roof. The pistons, the cams, the valve train. Let's see. Plugs. Go ahead and get those done. And the ignition system will get that done as well. Now everything is fully maxed out. Now when it comes to intake, we're going to be using... Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking... We could do, mm, I'm so back and forth. Aluminum intake, uh, stage one, eh. We'll go all the way up to a bench float and we'll do, yeah, we'll do the stage four. And then exhaust wise, exhaust wise, all the way through the roof. And it's gonna be a bumper exit, but with, with turbos. That's the thing. It's gonna be a bumper exit setup with turbos. So let's see, did we do, wait a minute. Oh, it goes all the way back to the back of the truck now. I mean, I guess that's kind of like a default thing. Oh, it's, it goes to turndowns, I guess, when you use the turbos. That makes sense. Because we're on the turbos, it's going straight to a turndown. Okay. So now... Oh, wait. Never mind. Turbo bumper exit. Oh, my God. Okay. That... That works. That certainly works for me. Now, in terms of... Okay. We're going to have to uninstall the turbo for literally, like, any of those... But I do wonder if, well, essentially, I mean, like, the intake is already done and situated. The turbos are already done and situated. The bumper exit exhaust is good to go. And now, after that, we need to go ahead and handle our transmission. We've got the six-speed, but we're going to go all the way to full race, full race clutch, and full race flywheel. So that's done and good to go. Now, suspension-wise, that's going to get maxed out basically everywhere. Front suspension is going to be all the way to the max, and so is the rear suspension. And the axle configuration is going to be a torque arm, and then that's going to go all the way up as well. So just make sure that everything across the board is fully built, fully optimized, which it is. And then now, let's see. Frame-wise, this is interesting. So we're going to go full stability with the roll cage. Definitely going to add the double wheelie bars. And weight reduction is going to be through the roof. Now, I'm going to unlock the center of gravity tuning, but I'm not going to mess with it just yet. And then the parachute, I might as well just to have it. Because it's kind of one of those things where, do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. Now, computer-wise, we're going to go all the way up on, like, literally every single aspect that we can in terms of the tuning, in terms of the computer, the timing controller, the boost controller. All of that good stuff is going to be through the roof. And then tires-wise, this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. We're going to go with a full slick, and it's going to be a 35 maxed out. It's also going to be a, let's see, a 21 and we're going to bring this down to, I believe, a 16 or maybe, would it be a 13? No, no. I think I'll run a 16 for that. Actually, I think I am going to go down to a 13 in the back. Literally give this thing as much sidewall as is humanly possible. Now, should we go ahead and do the tire branding? I'll go ahead and throw it on there. Now, we'll go ahead and purchase that entire setup. And then, let's see. Now, we're going to go to the front. Now, the front is going to be... I think I'm going to just do, like, a minimum uh, in terms of height and then width. Although, that's going to be really small. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. We'll try it and go from there. I mean, I'm trying to go for as much speed as I possibly can here. So, I think we'll go ahead and... I think we'll go ahead and purchase that. I think we're going to go ahead and set it up like... Oh, God. That looks so wrong in the front. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Like, it, it's bad, but, like, it better be fast. Like, it, <laughs> it, it better be fast. That's all I'm going to say for that one. 
All right, guys, so I have the tune fully dialed in, and of course, I'm going to walk you guys through it. But also, if you want to get a little bit of a more in-depth look at this tune from its original creator, I will leave a link in the description box down below to the original tune video by SavageJQuan21. Now, without any further ado, let's go through the tune, and let's also make some visual adjustments to this Raptor before we go ahead and race it. Now, I will say that in terms of the actual tuning setup, it's not super crazy. It's not super over the top. These are going to be your gear ratios. So you're going to be 247 in first, 184 in second, uh, 145 in third, 120 in fourth, and then 101 in fifth, 0.83 in sixth with a 467 final. And then suspension wise, you're going to be basically slammed in terms of clearance. Stiffness wise, you're going to be 70K in the front, 33K in the back. Bump is going to be 1100 in the front and 1000 in the back. The rebound is going to be 6900 front and rear. And extension is going to be zero in the front and 0.24 in the back. Now, weight balance balance has been shifted to 0.65. And then, of course, it's minimum in the, or I should say, towards the rear, it's all the way down. Now, computer-wise, all of that stuff is fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Launch control is, of course, active. Launch RPM, 8465. Limiter RPM, 10,000. Shift light RPM, 9500, 9525, with a zero delay box. I know some people like to play with the delay box, and some people don't. Um, fuel rates are going to be perfect tuned. Timing is going to be perfect tuned. And boost is going to be 30 PSI in all gears. Now, let's go into our visual customization now. So, parts-wise, I think I'm going to go with something, I don't know, something a little bit more, oh god, okay, that's, that's a bit wild. I want something, like, just a little bit over the top. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, super crazy, like, you know, one of these massive cowl hoods or anything like that. Maybe that one, but that one's like, that one's okay, that one's not too wild. Now, I think I might, ooh, I kind of dig this massive rear wing, like, this absolutely ginormous rear wing. I want some nice-looking beadlocked wheels in the back. And these, these definitely fit the part, I think. Oh, nope, nope. Something like those, though. I'm going back and forth. Oh, dude. Yep, those, those work. Those absolutely freaking work. And then up here in the front, these are kind of going to be a nice, like, classic-styled skinny. And then we don't really have many other options there. Although I will say, grill-wise... That one doesn't really make sense, but this air dam actually does make some sense because that would give you a lot better aerodynamics if this were IRL. And then colors-wise, really the sky's the limit in terms of color combinations. You can go whatever direction you would like. I'm trying to see because I want to do something that's fairly, like, bright. And I do like, ooh, front wheel color hoop, spokes, bead. Oh my god, bruh. Bruh, that is insane. Look at that. There are so many different, like, levels of colors that you could go into. That is so legit. All right. Let me find... Actually, I dig the lime green... No, you know what? I'll go with maybe a... Oh, I'm so back and forth. I think I'll go with a red on this one, just because I went with a lime green on the Ram TRX that I built, and I really thought that the lime green worked really, really well for it. And then I think I'm going to black out the cage... And then in the front, let's see. Oh, I see. So how about we black out the trim just to kind of keep that contrast. We black out the rest of the trim just a little bit more. And then wheels-wise, let's see. Bead, hoop, spokes. Let me black out the hoops just a little bit. Or we could match them. We could match them to the... Oh, that actually looks really cool in the back. Now, I will say, let's go to the front. And I think the fronts, I'm going to leave fairly, fairly well blacked out. And then the interior, we could make the interior a little bit brighter, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think that that's going to be, like, the best uh, the best way for us to go. I'm going to tint out the windows a little bit so it gives it a little bit more of that mean look. And I'm pretty dang happy with that. Now, we could go through and do a bunch with, like, you know, uh, wraps and vinyls and stuff like that all day long. But really, the whole reason why we built this thing was because I wanted to drive it. Now, let's go to the test and tune first, see what kind of time we can run, and then after that... I might try to hit up an online race and see, well, let's see, see how badly I get it handed to me in an online race. Because, you know, that's one of those things where I can build a decent car in this game. But in terms of actual, like, skill with it, there's definitely a lot that I need to work on. And I am 100% okay with admitting that. So it's inch up to the line, get staged. Hold on on the launch control. Stay focused here. Come on. I don't know if that was a little earlier or not, man. 590s? 
5.931. Yeah, okay, so again, this setup can go 5.7s. I will say that in the uh, the original tuner's video, he ran a 5.7 on this tune. I gotta dial in my own personal, like, my own personal best with it a little bit better, but it's definitely, definitely a good setup. So let me go back to the garage now. And I'm gonna see if maybe, maybe I could do okay in an online race. This is not in any way, shape, or form my, like, hold on. Any tree, let's go pro street, let's see, full tree, there we go. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Um, we'll go for that. Oh, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be 20k, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So... Long story short, I am probably not going to win this, but let's find out. Unless he messes up. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I wanted to make sure that I had the option of a full tree because I got to be honest, I am not that good with the other options. Let's move it on up. And let's see. I'm just going to sit. I don't know why he waited. Oh, is he going to do that thing where he just sits and waits? Bruh, come on. Race starts, come on. I'm just sitting here on my launch control. He's staged, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And... Oh, I, I short shifted. Well, that went well. Um, hmm. Yeah, that went well. Oh, bruh. Bruh, that's annoying. Oh, I went into a... Really? Wow, all right. I was off of the bracket. That's that's delightful. That is not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do, like, at all. Let's see, any type, heads up, bracket custom, bracket 890. Yeah, nope. Here, heads up. Let's see. Yeah, nope. Oh my god. All right, refresh. Wow, okay, never mind. Apparently, apparently I'm not gonna find exactly what I'm looking for in that sense, but if you want a Raptor that will consistently run under a six second quarter, this is definitely a build that will work for you on that. I will say I'm back and forth about whether I like this one better or the TRX better. I'm so split on both of these setups because they're so different and they both function so differently, but I don't know, I'll have to spend a little bit more time with the Raptor to really get dialed in with it. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning those notifications on and I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later and I hope you guys enjoy.